Today um, I like to invite you into Shara's little laboratory. Today we're going to do some tests. Um, some of our friends uh, sent, uh, sent us some different uh, transmitters from some different brands and we're going to compare them on the harmonics, also on the normal transmitter levels. And we got a nice little analyzer here and a little setup with a, an attenuator and, and some stuff like that. So first we're going to test the, the Shara UHF uh, system. And I already sent it into bind and uh, zoomed in on the third harmonics. And what you can see right now is the harmonic level on the, the third, the 1296 megahertz. It is minus 64, 65 dBm. So this is a very weak signal. And you should compare this to the fundamental frequency is a half a watt, is plus 27 dBm at the same time. So this is a huge attenuation of the third harmonic. All right, let's compare with the others. Here we go, we um, got this nice transmitter connected. It's uh, from Immersion. And uh, we put it into uh, high power mode. In, um, in high power mode, we found out uh, the transmitter's output power is 25 dBm uh, in high power mode and in low power mode it is 20 dBm. All right, so in uh, high power mode I turn on my my transmitter and uh, get some nice beeps and now you see the the short spikes. This is because the unit is in 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 hopper mode. This is normal flight mode for this unit. Um, it is not capable of transmitting uh, a constant transmitted uh, wave like uh, like this one can. So it is a little bit more difficult to do this uh, the harmonic uh, measurement. But this analyzer got a nice feature called max hold. So with the max hold, I am able to reveal the harmonics. And with the with the peak hold here, you can see um, the harmonics is 20. 47, 47, minus 47 dBm. So um, that is a lot of harmonics, gentlemen, like 100 times more. All right, thank you. Um, we're still doing the harmonics test of the three different uh, UHF systems. This one is uh, the Dragon Link, and uh, we did exactly the same. Uh, so now I'm uh, powering up the system. And uh, after a few seconds, the system will boot up and start to frequency hop. And uh, as I'm looking at the third harmonic, you'll see a tiny, tiny little spike every now and then when it hits uh, the, the zoomed in frequency. So this is really, really difficult to see. What I will do is I will max hold and then we will see the peak of the third harmonic is minus 50. DBM. So this is uh, 14 dB more powerful harmonics compared to the best in class. Yeah, thank you for watching. All right, let's try there and play a little bit more with the harmonics, uh, especially um, uh, the third harmonic. The test setup here is uh, we have a nice little video receiver we got from Alex, and uh, we put this on channel nine. Uh, the 1280 megahertz. We set up um, a signal generator for 1280 and the signal level is minus 80 dBm. So this is a very very weak signal. The signal is actually only a few dB uh, before the noise floor. So this is a very very weak signal. We connected the, the signal to an antenna and we connected the signal to the video receiver. The video output is uh, fed to a scope and uh, so here we can see we just to demonstrate if I turn off the the signal so this is the wanted signal very close to the antenna uh, we have the Shara long range UHF system if I power up the Shara system it is actually possible to see this if you really really look carefully you will be able to see the noises slightly wider so, so you will actually see, well, right now I just can't see it's getting wider, but it is affected very, very little at this uh, test. 
So um, let's try the same with a dragon link, for example. Now we did exactly, uh, we're going to make another harmonic test using another uh, transmitter system. This is uh, the dragon system. Uh, so we are able to compare everything on a, on a fair basis. We made some, you know, drawings on the table so and take everything and nobody's moving anything. So we can compare exactly what is happening. So now we turn on uh, the Dragon Link system and we have a look at the video output. It takes a few seconds for it to boot up. But now you will see it is uh, affected uh, quite a lot. And uh, under exactly the same circumstances. Okay, everybody, now we're going to do the last uh, harmonic test and a little bit of uh, uh, resume and uh, explain exactly what we're seeing here. So now we take the absolutely worst case of harmonics, uh, the EC USF, and uh, if we power this up under exactly the same circumstances, you see there is also no jamming on this video frequency. And this is exactly why frequency planning is so important. The frequency we are using for the video right now is not one of the frequencies this one has as a third harmonic. And this is why it looks like this one is good. Which is, it is not. This is the worst one when you measure the level of the harmonics. So you need to set up you know, another frequency to hit the exact frequency this one is using and then you will get absolutely different results. Alright guys, um, I'm sorry about this uh, bad handwriting. This is uh, just a very fast uh, resume of all we have been tested today. Uh, about the third harmonic, uh, again, we, we found the, the Thomas Scherer system was, uh, was the best on harmonics. The level of the harmonics is uh, 14 dB better than the Dragon Link and it is uh, 16 dB better than the immersion system, uh, the, the easy uh, system. However, since the three systems use a lot different frequencies, uh, both in the way they hop and the, f the frequencies they have uh, used to hop, uh, they will affect uh, the harmonics uh, differently, obviously. So, so the immersion system uses only uh, a very, very narrow band in the UFS, uh, UFS band. Uh, a very narrow frequency band will also affect a very narrow band in the third harmonic. So this means, since the, 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 the different frequencies of the, uh, of the video receivers, uh, none of them actually hits the, the third harmonics of the immersion system. So this is why you will see, uh, for, for that point of view, it looks like the immersion system has less harmonics. However, it cuts the worst harmonics but it doesn't affect your video receivers. Um, the, the Dragon Link got uh, obviously 14 dB worse harmonics compared to the Thomas Yair system. But again, if you choose the correct frequencies for your video link, you will be able to, to fly on, on 1200 or 1300 megahertz with the Dragon Link. And you can of, of course also choose another frequency and be able to fly with the Thomas Yair system. We, we just uh, choose by luck, uh, the 1280 system, and we were able to, to uh, prove the Thomas Yair system was, uh, was better compared to the Dragon Link system. But if you choose another kind of system or another kind of frequency, you will be able to prove exactly the opposite result. So, so what we did is we took, for example, the Dragon Link system and we, we, we dialed around the, the, the used frequencies. This is the good frequencies and this is the bad frequencies. Those are of course the frequencies the Dragon Link used for that kind of ID code we used and then we uh, multiplied this by three and then we got all the worst kind of video frequencies. And we, did, we did this for all the different systems and uh, we came up with the uh, different results. So yeah, be careful with your frequency uh, planning and uh, be careful uh, to draw wrong conclusions about the systems. Thank you very much for watching.